what was I talking about earlier? Math? I don't know how the hell I got on that. Ah, sorry. I'm in a fucking bad mood. I just walked up this, you know, out here to my uh, garage here to do the, the podcast. And uh, I just see this little bird just on the ground, like leaning to one side. And I'm looking at it like, why aren't you flying away? And then I looked at it like, oh, you're at the end. And like, I don't know what to do. And I'm like, what does it do now? It just stays there until some reptile realizes there it is. Now, if I was a liberal, like a lot of people think I am, which I like to think I am. I always think I'm liberal till I talk to a liberal. Then I'm like, you're out of your fucking mind, you know? Then I go, maybe I'm conservative. And then I talk to a conservative. I'm like, this fucking person, it does not make sense. Um, it really is amazing, depending on the jokes that you do, how people perceive you. Like I just did that uh, Netflix thing which I highly recommend you check out. Uh, Bill Burr presents Friends Who Kill. And uh, I went out there and I'm like, all right, what am I going to do on this thing? I was like, I got all this COVID shit left over. I got that Rittenhouse bit. I'll do those. Those bits kill. And I know that, you know, the COVID shit's, even though it's still going, it's a good time to get rid of this. And the Rittenhouse thing, nobody fucking remembers him anymore. I'll, I'll do this now, right? So I do that shit. And, oh, my God, I didn't even think about the material I was doing, right? So I get these fucking emails. No, not emails. Um, tweets. That was the most unfunny fucking six minutes of my life. And I'm looking at the avatar of the person. It's like, I, I believe you're old enough to remember 9-11. I, I want to say that that was probably a little less funny than whatever the fuck I did on that Netflix thing, right? And I couldn't figure out. And I got, like... Well, I don't know. I got like fucking half a dozen of those. Like really long, visceral fucking texts about how that was the worst thing that ever happened in comedy. And I was thinking like, Jesus, I didn't think I was that bad. And uh, then I figured it out. I was like, oh, oh, oh. Conservative snowflakes, they exist. Yes, they do. Uh, I thought it was a good bit, you know? Made fun of fucking... I don't know, whatever. <laughs> it's just a fucking joke, right? These fucking idiots. Oh my God, that was the most unfunny fucking... Really? Well, you're on Netflix, you dumb cunt. What is there, 40,000 stand-up specials? Go fucking watch another one. Acting like you're powerless. You were smart enough to log on to fucking Netflix, you fucking mouth-breathing dope. Just go fucking watch another one. You know, there's a bunch of shit that I watched during the year where I'm like, this is a steaming pile of shit. I never think to fucking, you know, find out who the person is and then at them, whatever the fuck you do. Just thought I'd let you know that I thought that that sucked. Um, anyway, so that's what I'm finding. I'm finding out during this new, this new time of doing stand up that uh, there's just really fucking sensitive people on both sides. And if you do a topic that they don't care for, then they're going to break out. You know, I'm someone who has a sense of humor. But that bit about gender neutral bathrooms had to have been the most unfunny thing I have ever seen. And I fucking lost a leg in a blender when I was nine. You know, they always have to have like some fucking horrible thing that happened to them to just show what a fucking bad day is in their life. Um... But what are you going to do? I guess it comes with the territory. I don't know. Netflix was happy with it, and they signed my check. So, uh, you know, good luck with your long tweet there, Missy. These fucking people. You know, I did, you know, by the way, I did, you know, offer the floor to people that, that are into guns. I wanted to hear what you, I want to hear what is your solution to these fucking school shootings? Like, how do we solve this, not take away your guns and your Second Amendment rights so everybody's happy? Um, I don't know what the solution is, but I don't think the solution is comparing it to the Alec Baldwin incident. <laughs> I'm just like, oh, all right. There's a fucking leap. What the f I, I didn't even, that, that fucking logic was just like, what? So you're saying a, a, a fucking negligent homicide? I don't know who the prop master is on that set. I'm guessing he's related to Leon Lett, whoever the fuck that was. It's a fucking deep cut for sports fans right there. I'm going back like 30 years. Um... But, uh, yeah, I don't know how that compares to a, uh, you know, pretending to be a cowboy and not knowing you have a loaded gun and killing somebody as opposed to wanting to shoot up a school with a semi-automatic weapon and being able to just walk in as a fucking lunatic 
I don't understand. And then going and doing that on purpose. I get, I don't understand that comparison. And once again, I'm saying, I don't want to take away your guns. I just would like to find a solution, which I think, you know, everybody does. So I, why not ask the gun owners? That's my question. That is my question for you. And I've asked it twice and I am waiting here patiently. So when you're done cleaning your fucking rifle there, I would love to hear from you. And I'm not being a cunt either. I'm actually, I'm, I'm legitimately asking because there's got there's got to be a way there's got to be a way to stop these things and then let a certain portion of the uh american public that wants to own those guns still be able to go out in their backyard and fucking shoot you know i don't know 860 empty fucking beer cans whatever the fuck you do with that thing (laughs) Isn't a semi-automatic weapon, a semi-automatic weapon, isn't that like if you suck at shooting? That seems to me like you have a gun with training wheels on it. I feel like the real badass has just like a six shooter. That's all you got? That's all I need. Um, I just want to have like, you know, if I miss the first 38 times, to have another 72 chances. Um home protection yeah just in case someday a platoon attacks me there's another argument for it is what if there's a hostile government which i do find uh interesting if there's a hostile government like i feel like it would work better if somebody invaded our country you know what i mean as opposed to a hostile government because then it's a home game and then they're like all right this guy has weapons and then they'll just have some nerd fly a drone into your fucking house and take you out while you're watching, uh, you know, the third season of whatever the fuck you're binge watching. You know, I think it's a better argument that you'd have it, you know, back in the day it was the Russians. Then it became, uh, what was it? Uh, All Muslim people. Somewhere around 9-11 that happened or on 9-11 that happened. And then Russia was like... uh, Russia was like John Travolta when he was making those Look Who's Talking movies before he did Pulp Fiction again. And I feel like Russia just, like Pulp Fiction just came out and they're back. Russia is back. They are a threat again. You know, you can't keep a legend down. (laughs) Um, Anyway, so I don't know what to do with this bird. I just fucking looked out there. It's standing up a little bit more. I don't know. Maybe it had a couple of pops at the wrong bird bath. Who knows? Maybe there's some sicko in my neighborhood, you know? Somebody gave him the wrong vodka for fucking his birthday. And he's like, I'm not drinking this shit. And he just fucking glug, 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 glug. Spike the the fucking uh, bird bath. You know what's great about being a bird, though? When it comes to flight, you know, being semi into aviation like I am. um, You never have to worry about an engine failure. You know what I mean? All you have to do is just feel like, you know what? I got enough energy to make it from this tree to that tree. I can do this shit. Nature is so fucking awful, man. You think, you know, if you could fly, you're good. Just think of all the shit as a human being if you could fly. All the fucking danger that you could avoid. But what does nature do? You know? It creates hawks and birds of prey. So you're on the ground and here comes a fucking cat. Those bird murdering sons of bitches, right? You fly away and you're like, all right, yeah, go fuck yourself. Try jumping up here, there, nine lives. What do you say there, chicken of the sea? Go fuck yourself. I'll dive bomb you a couple times. You're laughing. Chicken, you know, little fucking chickadee flying around. Then just some Freddy Krueger, double Freddy Krueger gloves just comes by and fucking grabs you. You're in the midst of doing one of the greatest things, feelings in the world, flight. You're in the midst of that and the fucking thing comes and just grabs you, flies you back to the nest, doesn't kill you because it's got to teach its new fucking Freddy Krueger, you know, offspring how to kill. It's fucking brutal. It's fucking brutal. I don't understand, you know. You know what I hate was when you watch one of those brutal animal videos where something's getting killed, which for some reason I'm always watching those things. I find it fascinating. The really bad ones, there's always some douche in the comments have to be like, I know this is difficult to watch, but this is nature. Oh, is that what it is? I thought it was society. You know, just just that whole, like, like they're putting themselves, like, I know you can't handle this, but I can because I understand nature, you know? You ever meet those white guys that sort of fancy themselves as Caucasian medicine men? 
Like those fucking cunts are always in the comments. And they're always commenting too on shit that's like happening like in nature in like Africa. Like they've ever seen anything fucking like that in their life. Uh, Jesus, Bill. Jesus Christ. One fucking dying bird on your walk out to the garage and all of a sudden everybody's getting it. So gun nuts don't think that I'm against them. I actually have gone shooting a couple of times. All right. And uh, I enjoyed the hell out of it. I like the fucking revolver. You know, I like the band Velvet Revolver. I like everything about a fucking revolver. You know, I like watching that thing turn as I shoot rather than looking at the target. (laughs) I like how they're usually silver. Makes me feel like I have a valuable piece of, uh, I don't know, hardware metal in my hand. You know, I don't know. Maybe more liberals mean to go to a gun range and find the fun side of a gun. Right. And then they're into guns, too. And then maybe we could all just sit down and stop fucking typing capital letters at each other. I don't know. Oh, Bill, why don't you fucking sing We Are the World while you're at it? You know what? I just might. There are fucking psychos walking into a fucking Walmart buying a fucking bazooka because it's their right. Um, You know what you got to do? You just got to get like a fucking they should just like parole ex mobsters. Because those guys can read people like nobody's business and you just stick them at the, behind the counter at the fucking Walmart. And when some crazy fucker comes in, you know, and asks for one of those fucking guns, they just look at him. You want one of, you want a fucking what? <laughs> Listen, I don't think so, buddy. Take it easy. Why don't you fucking, uh, you live, hey, Looney Tunes, why don't you just fucking, uh, they got a whole aisle of every flavor of Doritos you could ever fucking want. One aisle over. This is for this is for the sane people. You go over there. I think they got a slingshot in fucking aisle five. Why don't you go fuck with that, you fucking lunatic? Um, I'm telling you, man, one of the worst things we ever did. One of the worst things we ever did was we fucking we shut down the nut houses. We shut down nut houses and then replaced those things with storage centers, allowing people to buy more shit than they fucking need. Fill the ocean up with plastic and our streets with crazy people. Look at me connecting the dots. It all makes ah oh, when you do a podcast by yourself and no one can challenge you. It all makes sense. It all makes sense in my freckled head. I'm solving shit that I don't understand, but I'm gonna keep on talking. All right. Um. All right. That's the podcast, everybody. God bless you. I'm not fucking with you, gun owners. I'm seriously asking because I know none of us wants that to happen to our children. So. I'm trying to have this maybe be a place where, uh, I don't know, people can talk to each other without yelling, um, which is fucking hilarious coming from me considering I've spent most of my life yelling at people. Um, Well, what do you think about that, you toxic white male? Shut up. All right, that's it. Go fuck yourselves. Have a great couple of days and I'll check in on you on Thursday. How do I shut this off?